Hello, everyone, and welcome back to PCN Marquee Matchup. I'm your host tonight, Saul Goodman Jr., and I'll be joined in the broadcast booth by You Don't Vape. Hello, everybody. Vape, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. You know, Atlanta United just came out with nine points sitting top of the table. Nice and cute, you know? Right, Whatever right. Tonight's matchup in the moderator broadcast booth is Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, so that'll be fun to watch tonight. Um, what are you expecting from this top one and two teams? I mean, it's the, as of right now at the table, the one and two teams in League Two. So you would just, for a person new to viewing it, I'd say, like, you'd see that this is the premier matchup of the lower divisions right now. And I'm excited. This should be an exciting little matchup we got here. Yeah, I, I think, you know, it's League Two doesn't get the best rep as far as quality goes. But I think if you're these two teams, if you look at the names, and we're going to get to them in a minute, there's some names in here that don't belong in League Two. So it's one of those things that they, they found a team that they like and they want to bring it up. So they're doing it from the ground up. So you got to give them credit for that. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's about a common trend, you know, you could say in PCN is like some people, there'll be a club in lower divisions, like, for example, like the Dortmunds and Real Madrid's, and then you have people go down to bring it back up because like, you know, historic PCN teams like that just being down the lower divisions, especially Barcelona, former Super League team made all foul all the way back now. Right. And Barcelona notoriously was one game away from being promoted last season. Now they're going to go got about it again with a lot of the same people, but some new faces. Uh, let's get some predictions in the chat, and we'll go through the lineups real quick. Uh, starting with Atletico Madrid, they're going to be playing the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, and Jeepers is in net. Kadic is the left back. Girk Daddy and Oswald, the captain, is center backs. Right back is Jay Andre. CDM is Nobby, and then left center mid is Freebra. Right center mid is Zesty Wang, and Cam is Booch Boy. And then the strikers up top are Pancake, Waffle, and Elements of God. The key uh, players for Atletico are Elements of God, Navi, and then the captain chose himself, Oswald. Not biased at all. Hey, 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 hey. I have selected these guys, so don't, don't slam them too much. Okay, okay. Well, my apologies, Oswald. It just seemed odd. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Vape, speaking of players that were previously in higher divisions. Pancake Waffle, the former Super League cam, now all the way down to uh, League Two with this squad. What are you expecting to see from him? I mean, what's called Atletico Madrid boasts a bunch of former Super League players, but I mean, Pancake, you'd say he's probably the more creative of the two strikers with elements. I mean, at least like I would say in play styles. I mean, stats might show a little differently at the start of the season, but I mean, from what I've seen from Pancake, he is more the creator, elements is more the finisher. Okay. But Pancake, and especially him and Booch, you know, linking up, getting creating play, it should be a fun little attack here for Atletico. Yeah, and then also the uh, the keeper, former Super League, Elements has been in Super League. There's, a, there's quite a few players on the squad that have been in Super League. Um, but let's switch over to Barcelona real quick. Uh, they'll be playing the 4-1, or 4-3-3 defending, um, or holding, nine. sorry. Is it the false nine? Uh, center forward. Oh, man. What a good start. Uh, goalkeeper is Fnatic Cobra. Left back is double. Two center backs tonight are Camper Grande and E. Lambs. Right back is Lee Fong. Center to defensive mid is King Santana. Left center mid is Daniel. Right center mid is Midlos. And then the strikers up top, or left wing, right wing, is Dunce and Kerr. And then Frost is the center forward in that false nine role. Um, the right wing, King Kerr, Camper Grande, and Fnatic Cobra, the keeper, are the key Barcelona players tonight. And uh, one of the things that I think is interesting with this squad is you saw it a lot during the World Cup, but a lot of these players have changed their names to King to match their uh, their captain. What do you think about that, babe? I honestly think it's a... I mean, personally, I think it's a kind of a weird practice, but if it builds up team chemistry, you know, everyone, people having the same somewhat names and it helps them with as far as like team cohesion goes. I mean, I mean, if it works, it works like for King Frost, his World Cup team did really well. Um, last season's Barcelona was really unlucky to not get promoted, making it to the playoff final. I mean, and they have ambitions to win the league and gain promotion here this season. So 
I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it with the gamer tags. Right. It's a uh, it's a lot. They played together at uh, I believe it was Jamaica, so you saw it there first, and they did pretty well. So you're, you're right. I would say keep it going. Um, before we get to the predictions in the chat, what are you thinking as far as your prediction, Vape? I personally think. Um, I'm going to be leading a bit more towards Atletico Madrid here. I think they're going to come out of this with a 2-0 victory. Elements to grab a breeze. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Young Saucer says Barca. He disagrees with you. He's going to win 3-1. One King Yanez says Atletico is going to win 2-1. Legos says it's going to end in a draw 2-2. And then Bad Bubba says 2-1 Barcelona. I'm thinking it's going to be... I want to say it's going to be a draw, but I think it's going to be a higher scoring than people expect. For some reason, I feel like you either get 0-0 on these marquee matchups or 1-1, or then you get like the five fours. And I think tonight it's going to end in a draw 3-3. Three, three. You're going to see some good offense uh, out here. So that, I'm excited to watch that. But as I say that, I've never got a prediction right. So <laughs> don't believe me. Uh, Easy Slays has two predictions. Nope, three. I'm sorry. Barca, 8-1. Atletico, 0-1. And Atletico, 10 nothing. He just can't make up his mind. He's got one on every spectrum. I don't know if Slays has ever made up his mind at all. So That's tough. It's not surprising. <laughs> I'm uh, just kidding. Love you, Slays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny is saying 3 nothing Barcelona. Dorsey from the sidelines is saying AC Milan getting relegated. That's interesting. That's not what we're here to watch, Dorsey. But uh, Scarada saying 0 0 draw. Lego saying Dorsey predicted 9 7. That'd be fun. I would be excited to see that. Defense would cry a little bit, might, might hurt my soul. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it also hurt our voices, too, if we had a 16 goal thriller in the marquee match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will not be talking tomorrow at work, so look out for everyone at home. Uh, let's take a look. League two. We've got Roma is temporarily in first with 21 points, um, but that's not including the games tonight because Barcelona has two games in hand and Atletico has one game in hand. Um, so either team could would be ending up in first with a win here. Barcelona would end up in first with even a draw in this game, and uh, or actually they could have lost this game if they won one of their their other games. Um, but then it, it's kind of a logjam when you look past that. Napoli in fourth with 18 points, so not without um, without striking distance there. Ajax, Ajax with 18, PSV with 17. It's very close, and then there's a drop-off. It drops down to 11 in ninth place, so it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Yeah, I mean, so far, League 2 has been pretty competitive. I mean, it is early in the season. It's still anybody's games for grabs. You know what I mean? Oh, Absolutely. I mean, English just I, failed me right there. <laughs> I understood what you were trying to say. The words didn't quite line up, but I heard you. Yeah, I can't pull the second language excuse for, like, as many times as I normally would want to. So we're going to see how this goes, boys. You, you hate to see it, but uh, we'll get through it. Don't worry. Yes, Easy Slays. Mo is the king. <laughs> he is also the beast. AS Monaco got bicycled tonight. That You hate to see that. You really do hate to see it. Someone's name I can't read. Okay, Urban Charmander says one. Um... Phobias 2 1 Barca, and we are underway. Barcelona in their dark blue and reds. Atletico in their white and reds. A little bit of a kick clash, but it's not too bad. I think they'll probably play through this. Hopefully, we'll bring you a good game here. Barcelona is going to look to attack really fast off kickoff. I mean, it is a really fast-paced team if you watch the Jamaica side from the World Cup, and I imagine the philosophy would be the same as they did try to go down the wing, but it was snuffed out. Yeah, it was a very quick attack there, but it, it was snuffed out. And Atletico looks like they're going to go with a different type of attack, a little bit slower, a little bit more build-up, so we'll see how those styles counteract each other. Yeah, you know, typically, like, when you would think of a lower league side, most people think, like, 
it's just going to be all fast-paced counter-attacking, dropping back and defending. But there is definitely teams in the lower division who possess the ball, but also counter-press really well. So, I mean, this, is, I would say, is like one of the best examples of that. Teams that can play fast and play slow, control the possession, go for it, you know? Yeah, and especially with people that have had experience in Super League, they can implement that kind of system that maybe you wouldn't traditionally see with people just stepping into clubs. <laughs> well, brief opportunity there for Atletico, but Barcelona's Lee Fong is able to snuff that one out and get their own little possession game going. A big switch, a lot of space out there on that left side, but it's quickly shut down by Atletico. Now seeing what's doing on the left side. Coming back middle, Daniel to Frost in the middle. Navi does well to snuff it out, but Frost gets the interception right back. Booch Boy with a nice little play there defensively. Now working it up to Pancake. I think he was trying to find elements on a run there, but elements never took off. You just hate to see it. Still early, so I can't imagine the chemistry is 100% at this point, but... They'll surely work on it, and I'm sure they're communicating in their party to figure that out next time. I mean, so far, I mean, it is only 15 minutes into this matchup, but both defenses have looked pretty solid. But as the game goes on, people are going to tire. The way, like, emotions are going to start flaring up. I mean, you'll see this game open up for sure. Yeah, it would be, uh, I think, this first early minute says Pancake has a nice little break here. Might get a shot on target. He does, and it's oh. just wide. That was a beautiful ball out of the back, and it was just unfortunate for Pancake. He just barely misses the top corner. That would have been a wonderful goal. Beautiful strike. Just a little bit outside. How is Barcelona going to re react here? Ball into the box. Oh. Trying to play out. that RBX in, but Kadic does well to cut it out. Playing it near post, he lands, just puts it out of bounds though. Unfortunate, not much he could do there with the way it lined him up. And also with how headers are in this game. Oh yeah, um, they're god tier. Not really that much you can do. You, you know Smoke Break's happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> nice little possession here. Macaroni. Working the ball around. Yeah, just working around the back line, though, and the keepers are not really anything threatening, but getting some possession to slow it down. Now that's a throw. There's a wide-open player on this left side. They just didn't find him. Booch Boy playing it to the corner, putting elements in a tough position, but they're, they got a corner out of it. See if they make some magic happen off this. Let's look back on it now. I have a feeling they're probably going to send it into the near post here. I'm definitely not saying that because I can see their cursor. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost a genius. I don't know how you do it. It's this wonderful thing called eyesight. They have nobody tall and didn't really nobody end up there getting, at all. Yeah, <laughs> didn't really end up getting near. You could see the idea, but the timing just wasn't quite right. Yeah, it looked like Elements got bumped up a little bit onto his near post run. Pancake now finding elements on that same ball, but elements just a tad off sides. We saw a similar play like that earlier, but elements never ran off. That time he got run just a hair off sides. Looks like the little man was just a little bit off. Good when they elements is playing like, a little bit of a shorter striker build. Yeah, a little bit more speed and. It's interesting. I don't think there's as many tall players in this game because of the way heading has worked out. And it's kind of changed the way attacking has built up and the way defenders make their builds. So mm -hmm. it's interesting how much it can differ from one game to the next. A beautiful ball here. Elements is on sides. Doesn't have much help yet. It's got one back post, one in the middle. Pancake coming close. Trying to buy some time, but is able to get a corner out of it. Yeah, going back to what you said about player builds, I, I mean, I personally like it this year um, because in the past couple of years, everyone's running six foot or six foot two and above. And it's literally just everyone giants running around, but now you have a mix of every types of heights. 
Yeah, you get a much more variety. I would say that the gameplay in this one is a little bit more fluid. Um, it, it's more of a passing game, so that lends itself to not playing monstrous people that can't really move around. Yep. I mean, there's people that can make it work, but just with right now with how um, wild the heading accuracy is, it's really inconsistent. Yeah. And then just taller players in general this year are more impacted by the agility and their dribbling and all that's just penalized the taller you go. Which is a good thing. I mean, other than if you're like Ibrahimovic in real life, typically taller players can't dribble as much. Yeah, they, they, it definitely seems like they made a point. Oh, I might have an opportunity here for Elements. Nope, gets snuffed out. And it looks like it went off of him. It's going to be a goal kick. He's got uh, heart. Yeah, they made it a point to kind of eliminate that 6-6 OP that was uh, all over FIFA 19. And we're seeing that adjustment now. And it's fun to watch, I think, because you see different play styles, different combinations, a little bit better play styles. But Barcelona gives it up relatively easy there. Pancake working it around. Booch Boy now playing it back out to the wing. Trying to find elements. He gets him, but the touch is harsh. Elements does well to play it back to Zesty, finding the back post. Free ball! What a beautiful ball into the back post. And then we were talking about headers being inconsistent, but Free ball is able to play that back across into the side netting. What a header. What a goal. 1 0, Atletico Madrid. Beautiful header. Wow. After all that, it's the commentator's curse. I swear it's a real thing. <laughs> Literally talking about how bad ha headers are this year. He places a beautiful one into the back of the net. Like. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if Barcelona can come up with an answer. Not too much time here left in this first half. Atletico would do well to go into the half 1-0. Maldonado. With them conceding more like close to the halftime, Bar I mean Barcelona in general, they obviously they want to stay in this title race. They are going to be trying to play really fast out of the attack, and this is probably to Atletico Madrid's benefit because they can force them to make more mistakes. Yeah, we've actually seen a, a few uh, counterattacks from this Atletico squad if they get a little bit more opening as Barcelona moves forward. Elements with a nice pass here to Pancake. Pancake try. Oh, oh Fnatic does well. That was a great play right there by Fnatic. Cutting off the angle, intercepting the pass before Pancake could get there. If Pancake gets to that, I, I think we're celebrating for another goal. Yeah, I, I can't disagree with you there. Barcelona without a shot so far in this first half. They've had opportunities. They've gotten it down there. They just can't seem to find that finishing play to get their opportunity on net. So something to keep an eye on as we move forward. Hopefully they can create something. Uh, like you said, they're, they're probably going to send up more players now that they're down. Mm -hmm. I mean, so far, I would say just like, I mean, I want to point out something young Saucer said. Um, those, he's mentioned that those uh, Barcelona fullbacks, they got to cover better. And I mean, I agree. They're kind of letting the through balls through. They're not really covering their men that well. It's exposing this Barcelona defense. Yeah, no, that's a very good point because that goal that they scored was just a back post cross. The, the fullback should have been there. That's his man. That's his job. And he wasn't even in range to fight for it. So mm -hmm. He's got to mark up tight, tighter in that situation. Double does well. Dispossessed Pancake. Now Barcelona is moving. But you see when they get the ball, there's no one up there. And they're there. forcing it forward a little bit. When they really need to do is slow it down for a second so they can get some people behind there and get numbers up. Great pressure there. Elements now with the ball. Looking for some help. Just going to slow it down to Nobby. Zesty playing it out wide, rightfully so. Looking for Pancake. It goes out wide again. Pancake's just going to cycle it. Nicely and productively here. Good oh, that was a good effort right there. He yeah, had the idea, the just the execution was not up to standard. Double did well to cut that one out. Yeah, maybe you heard us saying that the fullbacks need to cover better. <laughs> he said, okay, I'll show you. Barcelona now trying to get their first shot. Navi says no. 
So far, oh. Nabi has been really well, uh, playing really well for this Athletico side, holding it down in the middle of the park. Is he on? He is on. I'm surprised, but it didn't matter. Barcelona is able to defend that well. Let's see if they can get something forward. Just nothing doing there. As you say, Navi cutting it out before they can even get started. He has definitely been one of their key players in this matchup. Yeah, I think that's a one we can certainly nominate for later. Barcelona trying to work it. Frost taking some space here. He's got two in the middle. Drops it back to Li Fong. Gets taken out by Freebra. <laughs> Atletico does well defensively. Trying to find elements, but he's well off sides. It was a smart idea right there to try and catch him on the break while the line was high, but unfortunately the ball was sent. A little bit late there for Elements, who's a little, a little faster than most people, so you gotta time yeah. it, brother. He's just a little guy. He likes to go real fast. He's got heart, though. King Kerr doing well oh, until the, the shot. Red the Oof. red time. That could come back to bite them. That probably could have been their best opportunity yet. Well, of a little bundle. To be fair, that was their first shot, so it was their only opportunity. <laughs> Atletico now with the ball. Elements coming down. Looking maybe for Pancake there. No, nope. Going to dribble it too much. Santana cuts it out. Lee Fong now with it. Poor decision by Lee Fong. Pancake Waffle now playing Elements. Fanatic though with a big save. Fanatic's keeping his team in it. I mean, if they go down 2-0, it's probably a game right there. That was a very clutch save. Yeah, I can't disagree. Barcelona got their first shot in the 60th minute. Go down 2-0. They would... Really need a miracle and a prayer at that point. To a scoring position then, but, but here we go. B Lee Fong trying to play it in the middle. Zesty is able to win that header. Pancake sending it deep. Not really looking like to connect on that. Just getting it out so you get some alleviation of this pressure. Caddick does well to win it. Oh, that left side's open a little bit. Elements finding Booch Boy in the middle. He's looking to cross it, but it looks like it's going to be cut out by double. I mean, with 15 minutes left to go, Barcelona has to be smart with their possession because they're not going to have that much time left. Yeah, they're, they're they having a lot of... flying forward and not really adjusting to the play. Exactly. Atletico is slowly just getting behind the ball and waiting for them to make a mistake. And then they're stepping, and then you see those big touches, and Barcelona's just kind of running right into it. Pancake, though, does well to get interception here. Finds Elements, tries to find Booch Boy, but Camper cuts it out. And give up a throw in in that corner. Ball bouncing around here. And we got a free kick. Interesting. Didn't see it. Yeah, that was a little bit of an interesting one right there. Just three people running into each other at once, and then the ref just like, all right, I guess that's a foul. Sure, ref, sure. See if Atletico can set something up here. Go 2 nothing with only 10 minutes. You got to think that might be curtains. At least for this game, when Barcelona just hasn't been able to create as much as we would like to see. Oh, an unlucky play there. Elements just isn't able to recover in time after knocking down the ball in. We'll slow the game down. And then the keeper sends it to seemingly no one. There wasn't anyone in that vicinity. Barcelona, though, does get the ball back. King Kerr playing Frost. Freebrod as well to cut that out. Pancake may be looking for an early ball here to Elements. He does. Elements has a little bit of space. Maybe trying to create for himself. Too much dribbling, but he gets the ball right back. Lee Fong is able to get that after a nice tackle. It was a little unlucky play right there from Elements, you know, with this year's the do dribbling system, you can't really skill too much because then it'll start making you lose possession. That's what happened right there. Just what normally wouldn't be a very long like touch off the uh, fake shot turn. Mm -hmm. and just with the back to back skill moves, yeah, yeah. kind of. You have to tie them and chain them at the right moments, or the ball's just gonna go 20 feet away. Something I really appreciate. It's much more realistic. You can't just spin and spin and spin and spin. It's like, in real it life, hurts. that guy would be dizzy. 
<laughs> like it that, hurts for me at least. <laughs> well, fair enough, but it's made it more realistic, I'll say. Mm -hmm. Atletico getting some good possession here. Time ticking down, 89th minute. Hopefully we got some nominations in there for man of the match. See if Barcelona can come up with a stunner after really not creating much here. King Dunst looking in the middle. Elam's now playing it out wide, kind of telegraphs it, but gets away with it. And Li Fong's not able to do anything. Kadic cuts it out well. I'm thinking this might be all she wrote as soon as the ball goes out, and it is. It sure is. 1-0, Atletico Madrid to Barcelona. I think Slay's, one of his like 14 predictions, called out this score. So congratulations, Slay's, for getting it right. <laughs> It was not 3-3. It's very upsetting. To be fair to Slays, well, I guess to be unfair to Slays, he had three predictions. So I guess the more you shoot, the more li likely you are to shoot hit your shoot. target. Yeah. All right, let's get, some mar let's get some Man of the Match nominations up in the chat, guys. Who do you guys think was your Man of the Match? We've got some Pancake nominations, Jay Andre nominations, uh, Zesty. Who else we got? Don't lie to me, Easy. Your first try was Barca eight to one. Your second try <laughs> was Atletico zero one nothing. Uh, bas uh, back post scorer. That was Freebra. Freebra. I mean, honestly, like personally, I think my man of the match was Nobby. I He just held it down in the middle of the park. That's a good selection, I would say. Um, and we got the straw poll here in the chat. Make sure to click the link, guys, real quick and vote for who you think your man of the match was. And wow, Will, the Nobby slander. Can we get a hashtag uh, vote for Nobby in the Twitch chat, please? Is Nobby not on the straw poll? He is not. Wow. Oh, that hurt your soul a little bit. I'm hurt, Will. I'm hurt. <laughs> I had to get it out. Fair enough. <laughs> Why isn't Saul an option? I did not play well tonight. So it could not be an option. <laughs> but that's how that works. Um, it, no, if I were to pick a man of the match, mine would. I'd have to agree with some other people in the chat and say Pancake. To me, Pancake, like you said actually before the game, was more of the creator. More of the chances that came for Atletico started off with a Pancake pass. And for that reason, mm -hmm. I feel like he was the engine behind it. So I'd give him the man of the match tonight. Uh, I mean, getting... yeah, personally, going to people off the poll, I would have to say Pancake, but in my heart, everybody knows it. It's Navi, but Will's a hater. You know, Oswald <laughs> is actually in the chat. He's the manager for Atletico. He's saying uh, AO saying Navi, Solar saying Navi. So maybe an honorable mention to give to Navi. True. Uh, but unfortunately, he does not get nominated in time. He's rather unlucky, but as the result of the. Straw poll are showing right now. It looks like Pancake Waffles are running away with it a little bit. Looks like we're going to have to call it there. Pancake, overwhelming favorite for the straw poll. Man of the match honors goes to him. And then, of course, the honorable mention for Navi. He got the late nomination, but he picked up steam at the end. He would have been it most likely if he was in the poll in time, but... There's no telling now. Sorry about that. Sorry, Navi. Can we get a hashtag Ben Will in the chat, boys? No, no, <laughs> no, we can't. Vape, final thoughts on this game. What did you enjoy about seeing this? What do you think these teams can work on? Like, what what are your takeaway? Um, I mean, personally, I'd say for the most part, they play. I mean, for being lower division sides, they did show flashes of brilliance. Um, one thing I would say, like for anything to work on, um, I'd say Barcelona. They did look like they did not really play the same after this goal was scored on them. And yeah. they just started brushing the play. The defenders weren't uh, like getting a little antsy and trying to push up. I mean, but for the most part, I'd say it was a pretty even match. It just happened. The one major chance happened to be a back post header, which I don't think anyone was really expecting for it to be. But, you know, it worked out like that at the end of the day. Yeah, they they can Barcelona can blame the commentators us for that one. We uh we talked about it too much, and then they said nope, we're gonna give them the header goal there. Uh, but yeah, no, I think 
Uh, Atletico, I would have liked to see a little bit more clinical finishing. I think there was a, they had a lot of chances in the box where they didn't end up with a great shot. So I would like to see that from them. Barcelona, I think they need to start with that build-up play. It, I mean, they didn't get a shot to the 60th minute. Um, I think their second one, I think they had two total shots, was in like the 85th-ish minute when they were pushing a lot of people up. So just getting more opportunities for that, that I think that's um, would be my takeaways. But a good gameplay overall. Defense has played pretty well except for the one back post that got uncovered. So kudos to those two teams for putting on a good show. Any uh, final thoughts before we sign off here? Um, I think that's it for me tonight. All right. Well, I thank you for joining me in the broadcast booth. Thank Will for streaming. And for all the beautiful people tuning in at home, you guys stay classy until Sunday. Y'all take care. See ya, guys.